everybody welcome back to the channel today we are raking this hay this rye grass uh, this winter rye that we cut the other day on the video but today is Tuesday we cut everything on Saturday except for about five acres worth was cut on Sunday about lunchtime well, late morning so we're out here raking it today we came out here and looked at it we have a good chance of rain tomorrow night Wednesday night and then a hundred percent chance of rain Thursday night so we're kind of uh, getting nervous about this we don't want it to get rained on and we want to get that corn in here too so we came out here to test it and according to my tester the top is plenty dry and then underneath the bottom was anywhere from 18 to about 25 percent so we're really close go down so we're really close but that's why we're raking it right now we have really good luck if we rake it it kind of flips the bottom side up fluffs it up we're bringing two together to help with the bailing but it kind of fluffs the pile up and puts the bottom on the top and then we got a nice drying day today kind of breezy nice and hot and then it'll dry today and tomorrow and I think we'll be at the right moisture we just want to be under that 20 percent or if we're at 20 you know we'll probably go ahead and go with it anyways but I think a lot of this is going to be perfect as far as moisture goes I think it's going to go but I guess that's what we'll find out tomorrow because if it gets rained on it's not that we have one day of rain it's that Wednesday night Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday is all chances of rain take too long it goes pretty fast so you can ride about 10 mile an hour at least that's what I was doing wrong or right I'm not sure but it looks good we got the nice Sun out right now still pretty decently breezy I wish it was a little windier yet that really helped dry down everything but so far uh, I think we're gonna be bailing tomorrow so hopefully we don't get any like random misting or any moisture overnight and we can probably bail so dad and craig went and hooked up craig's my uncle him they went down and hooked up the planter and they are going to get ready to plant corn in this spot so tomorrow when i start bailing if everything's going good and i'm going to keep going my dad and craig are going to haul the bales off the field uh, craig's going to use his tractor dad's going to use his and they'll be stacking the bales as fast as i can on the edge of the field as fast as I can uh, probably bail unless I get a head start and then they'll be chasing me down with the planter hopefully getting that field planted the corn before that rain hits which would really help it so well today we're bailing hay guys we're bailing that winter rye that we put on as cover crop it's the stuff that we were just raking and then the stuff before that that we cut but today we're rolling pretty good and this is my new time in the baler. This is my new baler, new to me baler. And we're having issues, which I've bailed 70 some bales already. And I'm just now having issues where it says it's wrapping, but it's not. So I'm gonna jump out and look here, make sure. So 
So it says that it wrapped. And when I looked in there between the belts, it did wrap. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. That time it wrapped perfect. So I don't know. I really don't know what's going on with it. We had one bale that broke in half, and I think that was because it was out of wrap. I was getting low on wrap. There's only just a few wraps left on that roll. And then I replaced it, and I bailed four or five bales, no issue. And then I went and bailed that one, and it didn't wrap at all. And now this one's wrapping. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I feel like I've been left you guys out here for about a week, but, well, which is probably about true, but for you guys it's probably about mm, two seconds, if that. But I just kinda wanna explain what's going on. So I, I bailed that rye hay, and I had a bunch of troubles, and I was kinda explaining what was going on, and then we just got tied up, and, the rain was coming, it was rough, I didn't get a lot of video, and just a lot of things were happening, and then we, it just downpoured. So, all the hay is put up on the ride. We got done. I think I said that, but that was about a week ago. Today is Thursday as well. And what ended up happening was I had a couple bales towards the end, about the last 20 some bales. Some of them would work fine, some wouldn't wrap at all, and then some would just wrap half a bale. And we could not figure out what was happening. So we did a whole mess of stuff, long story short, to this baler. And I'm heading over to go try and bale right now. Uh, we've had a really windy day, about 20, 25 mile an hour winds all day, so it should be plenty dry. He wanted to wait until this afternoon, which now it's 4.30. It's 440 right now, and I'm gonna go try it because if this thing doesn't work right, I gotta call John Deere and get them out here so they can kind of check over everything and see what they think. If you have any suggestions of what might happen, let me know. Uh, a few things I did to knock off your list, and maybe you'll guess it right, but I recalibrated the overheight, the oversized bell sensor and it was off. So this thing could have been making way bigger bills than what the monitor actually showed. So that could be an issue. Is it just too big? I adjusted the net pan. I adjusted the brake on the rubber roller. It was about 30 foot pounds off, so it's spinning way too early. We adjusted the height of the knife. We adjusted the depth of the knife, of the, the counter knife plate, the, the beveled edge where it snaps down on top. So now that is within spec, and so I adjusted that. Um, and I know there's a couple other things that we did. We tested the actuator, we tested the voltage, anything I could think of we tested, but those are the main things that we did do. If you have any other suggestions of what it could be, let me know. But we're gonna go find out if that fixed it or not.
we finished up. Isn't that thing cute? You guys ever hate doing that? <clears throat> you always hate to wrap a real small bell like that, but customer's hay is customer hay. Well guys, that's all I got for you on this video. I ended up doing 25 bales and it wrapped perfectly. So I really don't know exactly what fixed it. At least I'm assuming it's fixed because it, it would have done it if we wouldn't have done anything. But between changing, making sure we had enough voltage every single time to adjusting seven different things on the baler and programming the monitor a little differently. I don't know which one it was, or maybe it's a combination of all, but I'm really happy, I'm pleased. I was really frustrated the last, when we were doing the rye, and you could probably tell in my voice, I apologize for that, but uh, you know when you're, you're rushing to get a job done, trying to beat the rain and you have a bunch of issues, it's really hard not to get frustrated a little bit, and you know, I have a hard time myself with that. You gotta just tell yourself everything's gonna be all right and you know, it, it's gonna work out. You're gonna figure it out. And you know, I knew nothing about this baler before and I feel a little bit more confident that I know a lot more about it. So I had a bunch of issues with my 535 and I worked a bunch on it and I kinda got it down pat. Now I'm upgrading to this. So time to learn a new machine, but Overall, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, this I ran about seven and a half mile an hour. I could have went faster, but I want to make sure I'm getting that bale packed right for the customer, and I wasn't in a huge hurry tonight anyways. So they don't pay me by the hour, they pay me by the bale. So if I was to go super fast and get a really weak bale, or really light bale, then I'm costing them more than what it's probably worth. So I get if you're in a hurry, you gotta do what you gotta do. So these bailers are capable of 10 mile an hour range. So part of that's just me not being used to it too. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Tomorrow, we're gonna check the forecast, but more than likely we're gonna go cut some alfalfa uh, I have a friend of mine from Hastings. He's getting a swath there worked on right now. So he asked me if I could come cut his alfalfa tomorrow for him. And I got to cut dad's alfalfa tomorrow. And then hopefully it don't rain and get that put up next week. So lots of hay videos coming up. Got lots more going on with the custom stuff. We are going to plant corn either tomorrow or Sunday on that rye. It's finally getting dry enough. I'm thinking tomorrow it's still going to be a little too tacky. So. Stay in touch on that. Thanks for hanging out. We're almost 10,000 subscribers. We hit that free hat from one of these or a brand. Don't forget, you can buy the hats. Email me, jmfarmingcattle.com or dot com, jmfarmingcattle at gmail.com and I'll get you a hat. So, all right guys, thanks for watching.